Welcome to another episode of Conspiracy Antagonizers. I am Martin Labad. And I'm Charlie Mikolov. Now, we are in a bit of a delay for our second episode that we did for um, talking about social media, but that is getting, it is getting up, getting up to speed. So stay tuned for that. That's, as I said, I'm very proud of that episode and that's, and that is going to be it. All right. So this episode, we're going to be talking about after school success. Now the conspiracy of the whole, you know, when you go to, you know, when you go to school, parents drill, drill us in our heads that, you know, 18, we have to finish year 12 and we go to uni and, you know, after a certain age or like in your early 20s, you, you know, you get married and have a kids, blah, blah. And that's their definition of successful, right? Um, now, when, when that's not necessarily the case, in my opinion, of course, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it, can't, it can't be the case. You know what I mean? Because a lot of, a lot of big names have... Buck the trend and yeah. gone against it. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Like a, a lot of, I mean, even I've, I've, I've even heard a lot of stories, a lot of, a lot of stories where, you know, people have become in major companies, major big companies like electric companies or gas companies or whatever. They're earning, you know, 100, 150 or something thousand or whatever, you know, just an example. But then as soon as something goes wrong, they go all the way back to square one and they get to a job where they earn probably like what? 25, 30,000. I oh, know. You can say that. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, <laughs> no, for, for, for like a like issue, between, for between 40 to 50,000, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, and, you know, it's, and then it's like, then they turn into this, this major, major depression. It's like, well, you know, this is supposed to happen. I was told, I was taught that, you know, it when I go to year 12, the more smarter I am, the more successful I'll be, blah, 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 blah. I mean, yes. But it only de- that only determines on what you want. I think it becomes I think it becomes mentally drilled into your head to think, okay, I need to do this, 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 and this. Mm. And if it doesn't work, then I'm a failure, pretty much. Yeah. It, you know, you yeah. can al- you can always d- do the opposite, work harder mm. for longer, yeah. and then end up being successful later on in life. It doesn't have to happen straight away. You yeah. just want to want it. Yeah, of and course. And you just want to go through the hard yard to do it, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, that's right. I mean, because I remember, because um, back in the day, everyone, everyone would, is the whole, uh, either, what is it, a lawyer and a doctor? Lawyer. It's either one of the two. It's, it's, actually, it's actually those two. Yeah. That's it. Well, and, then, and then once you, and if, if you are those two things, or those two things, or one or the other, that means you're, you're you know, yeah, you, that means life. you're automatically happy. Yeah. You're set for life. Whereas, you know na- I mean? whereas now, nowadays you find it's more, Plumbers, electricians, people yeah. actually going to the trade right. industry, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. actually becoming more happier because they're doing the hard well, yards early on. Yeah, that's and right. sometimes they're dropping out of school to do that, mm. but then they're taking the risk, sacrificing. But in saying that again, depending on what company that you're with. That is true, that is true. Anything can go straight to, straight to hell, yep. and then you're back to square one yet again. And then, you know. It becomes the biggest setback. And perfect example, that's the thing, perfect example. Um, Colonel Sanders. Let's take it back to when he was when he was young. Like he, like he had a he had a full time job and everything like that. You know, he was married. He had a kid. Mm-hmm. She left him with the kid. He was n- like he was. He ended up with nothing really, and then realized that his secret little talent was obviously cooking, being as a chef and mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You know, and then you know experimenting with herbs and spices and stuff like that, and. And then that didn't really blow up until he got into his 60s, right? That's, that's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and, and that ended up being a massive empire. Well, that's right. And the, the one thing that sucks about it is that he didn't live long enough to really, really, really enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? That is true. Like he's... And so he's probably looking down now saying, look at all the people enjoying my secret herbs and recipes. Look at all the chicken. <laughs> look, at, look at all the chicken. <laughs> look at all the chicken. Look at all the chicken. Look at all the chicken that are being enjoyed. <laughs> like, because he started like obviously in Kentucky and, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's coming around the world. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? It's a and then yeah, he's he's down, he's down he's looking down on from heaven. I'm like, mate, look at all the chicken. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> is there enough chicken in the world to last? Like, I want to I want to try this Twister. I want to <laughs> I want to try this Zinger Burger. Like, what is that? Um, uh, but yeah, like, and then that's the whole conspiracy on you know our parents drilling in our heads that if we're not if we don't finish school, then that means we're going to be on the streets mm. when. Oh, it's it not true. Ne never it's happens not true. Never happens that way. It always comes down to what you want. That's you, right. You're going to go and say, okay, I'm going to go and drop out of school, going to focus on this, 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 and this, and then no matter how long it takes, I'll get there. Mm, that's right. Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, it's becoming more popular for tradesmen to do that. They mm. don't have to finish school. They'll go into an apprenticeship, Yep. do that for so long, then all of a sudden they've got their own business and... Yeah, Boom that's it. it. That's fine. That's all you and have then to do. obviously they're good at what they do. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, right. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, look, even with me, I mean, I not many probably not many people know that I didn't I didn't even finish year twelve. Oh wow! I got kicked out kicked out last week. Don't ask <laughs> me how that's possible, but apparently it is. So how did, I was going to so, say how did that worked? That'd be an interesting story one day. I don't know, bro. I just I just went with it. And look, I will be honest with you, as a Middle Eastern myself, right? That whole finish year 12, you don't finish school, there's something wrong with you situation, apparently. You know, I was afraid to I was afraid to even face my dad that day, right? But then he knew like there was a part in his mind that he knew that I wasn't going to finish, he knew. But he wanted me, I, I, was, I was full freaking out, I was full freaking out because the last thing I wanted to upset my father, you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. and then I think, because mind you, my dad was born in 1950. 50, 1950, 50. right? So that's not even a decade, or not even a decade of World War II ended, you know what I mean? Well, right, that's right. Yeah, so, so that, that mentality of that whole that is just, it was drilled in his head, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, like he didn't, because of the because of that and the ego with the Arab ego as well. He didn't really let me let me really like understand what I wanted to do, and I got lost what I wanted to do. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? But you know, my heart was always in acting, acting, voiceovers, and stuff like that. Okay, you so know? okay, so you so you knew at a very young age that you that you wanted to do acting, you wanted to do voice acting. You knew yeah. straight away yeah, there was yeah, a point yeah. in your life where you knew, okay, this is what I want to do. So you set out to do this, no matter how much it took and no matter how long it yeah, took. Yeah, that's to get right. That. I mean, well, look, I enough. yeah, I mean, look, I um, I mean, look, I did it ever since I was eight years old, uh, yeah. and you know, wanted to do it. As soon as I told him, my dad was like, "Yeah, let's do it." Blah blah blah. So he tried to help me try to get into like acting classes and stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, but um, yeah, but then, you know, it was just, it was just the journey. It was just the journey was a bit it's difficult at time, but yep. you know, but um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll be right back. Uh, we'll be, we'll talk more into the subject. Uh, don't go away. We'll, um, we'll be Charlie's turn with this one. <laughs> Uh, back, um, uh, just a quick review of what was, what was going on just before the break. We were talking about how, you know, being drilled in our heads, how if you finish year 12 and you finish uni and get married and have kids, blah, 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 that's your definition of successful, right? And um, we were barking that turn how it doesn't always happen that way, mm. but sometimes you can do the hard yard where you drop out of school, mm -hmm. do an apprenticeship or go through the hard yards of doing whatever you want to do to set out in life mm. and then end up being successful the harder way, which, yeah. is, which is what worked for Martin, where he dropped out, where he was actually suspended from school in the last week, which we're still trying to work out how, but here he is now. Don't bother, because it's just gonna, it's just gonna <laughs> give you a migraine the size of the sun. Don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> oh, I looked um, forward to that one time. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, so, I don't know. What about you? What about you, Charlie? You talk to him, bro. Um, what do you? What about? What about your little journey? Go well, ahead. 
Well, well, this, is, this is on you right now. <laughs> we need you to we need you to spark you, and shine. You, my, my story. Go ahead, go ahead, talk to him. Well, my story. I I did finish year twelve, but didn't get a, didn't get you know the high school that I wanted. But um, I thought it didn't phase me because I knew like I was always born to help people, get out of my way, and so I guess it ended up le me leading to being in the hospital and mm -hmm. being an orderly. So it worked perfectly. So yeah, interesting story. Yeah, well. pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, been there eleven years and um. Like, I love it, so I guess it was just what I was born to do, just help people and, like I said, haven't looked back, so works well for me, so mm. it's all I had to do, really. Yeah, just like how do you, well, when, when, it you, when you chose that path of, you know, giving back as much as possible, you know, how does that yeah. make you feel, though? I actually enjoy it. I feel, I feel happy for it. Like, sometimes there are days where you get frustrated because you deal with drug addicts, but... Mm. That doesn't faze me. Like I'm used to it now. I've been doing it 11 years, so my man, just every single day. So yeah, my so. man, my man. Yeah. Oh, that's good, bro. Look, as long as as long as you enjoyed it, as long as I you do. enjoy it, and, and you know you you're doing you're doing what you can. You, know you do, and that that's the other thing as well. Like when you um set to to do what you want to do, it's something that you want to enjoy. Like you want to get up, go to work, and think you know you know it's gonna be another day of happiness and fun. Like you don't want to get up feeling miserable and anxious because mm. when you get to that stage, mm. that's when that's when you feel like you have to leave and mm. move on to something else. Yeah, yeah. So that's where, like, you got to know at a younger age. Like, I'm sure you know yeah, from your yeah, experience. Like, yeah. as soon as you start voice acting, like, you knew that was something you'd love and that you enjoyed doing It was all also, time. like, a skill and yeah. a talent that... The inner talent that I have. Yeah, that's exactly right. Which everyone does, by the way. Like, this is, this is what something... This is what something, you know, people need to understand is that everyone has their own talent. Yeah, that's right. Maybe similar to others. Some Maybe people, the, some be, better than you or whatever. Some people just stand out more than others. Yeah, that's so it right. It just depends. You know what I mean? But, you know, if you have a talent, do not waste it. Because if you waste it, then you what are you doing? It. You're wasting <laughs> You know what I mean? So put, put your best use talent to good use. That's right. Which is what you're doing. So that's that's for right. Example, and it's what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I thought I'd just chuck that in there just to sort of, you know. Spice it up a bit. <laughs> so come to my, I made it on TV. Well, YouTube, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, so just, just as if, if yeah, again, if you guys have a talent, you know, bring it out, blossom, rise, you Fo know what I mean? To put it simply, just follow your heart. Whatever your heart tells you to do, just follow it in every single aspect. It's also the fear of judgment. Charlie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because um, <sighs> it's the fear of being judged. Like if you, if say someone wants to be like a director for a film. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'd expect like a lot of free stuff. You got to do like yeah. un unpaid things. Yeah. But then, you know, you need money obviously to survive, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's I right. Mean, you, you get the backing and the support as well. To yeah, that's right. You know much, what yeah. I mean? But they say the universe will open everything to you if yep. you let if, it if you let it if you let it you know what i mean so that's so that's the so that's that's the thing that's yeah you know what i mean um but you've got you've got to allow it to do that like you can't say no nah, i don't want this to happen I don't want this to happen i want to do it my way mm. you gotta say if this happens okay they can do it part. their way they can do it their yeah. way there has there's no issue the problem is they just have to they just have to understand yeah if they want something it's not going to be easy. It won't be the easy. Definition, be the definition, the real definition of success is blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, that's Those exactly are the right. three things, and this is in every, every single, every single um, aspect of life. You can yeah, say aspect of life. I've I've always said life is like a coin. You have your heads and tails of it, okay. and it's it's with everything, everything with life, even if it's uh, work, relationships, whatever. There's always another side to the coin of everything. Yeah. Right. But because obviously you got to keep the balance between positive and negative. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But that's it's it's normal. I mean, and, and if you're worried about being judged, who cares? They're gonna. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. They, they're gonna judge you no matter what you do in life. So you might as well do whatever the hell you want. In reality, everyone's gonna judge you for something regardless. So I that's think right. just go do do what you want to do. Who yeah. There's two. The reason why is because when you come across people in your life, what they have it's so many different personalities mm. so many different personalities man and it's that like well true. it's like you know you want to make people happy but yeah fortunately you can't make everybody happy There's the only person that you should be making happy is yourself that's right that, and that's the other thing <sighs> as well where i was saying earlier if you're happy within yourself that's mm. all that matters at the end 
That's right. No, nothing else matters. You know what I mean? And obviously, you've got to be willing to put in the work as well. That's exactly That's right. right. You know what I mean? Go, be, so, go yeah. do the hard yards for it. Yeah. Even, w- look, even, even also as well, like, if, say you're concentrating on, say if we're doing acting or something, mm-hmm. or TV or whatever, right? And obviously, nothing's paid yet. Yet, yes. right? Yeah. But obviously, you need it in order to survive. So you work full time and stuff like that, or yeah. working or working or whatever. I say smash out, smash out as much as you can with to bring the money in while you're doing the other thing. Because that way, it's two reasons. One, because obviously money is still coming in. That's right. Two, you're keeping yourself busy. That's right. And then it's like, well, you know, that's how you create more steps of, you know, progressing. It's basically the yin yang, like you said earlier. My man. It's all about. It's all about balance and doing it perfectly. That's right. It's all you got to do. Mm hmm. It is. It is. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's bad enough. It's bad enough we live in a world of judgment. Oh, it's it's, it's feel like we've gone on backwards, but yeah, I don't uh, know. That's, the, the that's become, another conspiracy. The world's becoming more judgmental each day of learning. That's mm. what it is. And yeah, there's always going to be someone that's bitter and angry that'll try to bring you down. But you know what? I say, stuff them. Who cares? Go out. Leave the, the thing, how, let me, let me, let me give you a piece of advice, people. If people are judging you, just be, just smile, just try to be like, okay. Just look, eat, eating out one out, like eating, it's what, right, in, 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 in one, one in, ear out, out with the, the other. other. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Um, but I mean, look, as I said, you got to, you got to, um, you got, as long as you know what you want, smash it up. So, but yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm doing my final message for all of you. And it's going to be, it's going to be some deep thoughts. We'll be right back. And we're back, um, conspiracy and organizers. Um, I want to do. I want to conclude our episode today. I want to do another uh, Labsy's advice on this, especially on this topic. Um, now, if you have a talent, recognize it, play with it, experiment with it. You know, see what you can do with it. Um, if you're worried about if you're worried about being judged, there's no point because everyone's gonna judge you no matter what you do in life. Because um, you know we have a million types of personalities in the world, you can't impress them all. I know because I've tried, and it it has not worked for me whatsoever. It, I crashed and burned before I even hit the crater, pretty much. You know what I mean? So. Or, or hit hit the summit, whatever whatever that speech is. But what I'm saying, um, it doesn't matter really what people will think, because there's always going to be the bitter ones out there that will try to bring you down, and that's what you don't want. You just shut the negative people out, say stuff you, and you just keep doing what you do best. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that will be more successful than them, because you're the one following your dreams while they were trying to drag you down. That's right. So shut it all out. Focus on yourself, because at yeah. the end of the day, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing, that's all that matters at the end. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, you know, you... I mean, look, even, as I said, like, I didn't... I said I didn't finish Year 12, but, you know, I, I know what I wanted to do at a very young age. All I needed was just the connections itself. And, you know, I went from... You know, I'm actually blessed to have a full-time job, a stable full-time job, and, you know, working my way up there and as well as doing what I love to do. And this is, and obviously this is what I, what I love to do. I mean, I, and as I'm progressing in my full-time job, I'm also progressing what, I've, what I want to do. So it's, everything is going up for me. Maybe slowly, but, you know, I'm blessed with what I've got. And that's because you've got that 100% commitment to it. And that's all you've got to have. you just got to be committed to what you want to do. Don't they just have to understand that. They just have to understand that if you do have a talent and you want to 
and you want to get there, it's not going to be easy. The definition of success is blood, sweat, and tears. You, I, there are people, there are people out there. You probably think they've got this and they've got that, blah 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 blah. You know, and you probably think, you probably think that they got it like that or they got it easily. Nothing's easy, mate. You have no idea. You have no idea what's going on clo behind closed doors with people's lives. Imagine all the blood, sweat, and tears they've put into it to get there. Imagine that's right. how long it would have taken them. It it's, wouldn't have come easy. That's right. I mean, even even, but it's not just that. It makes you appreciate it more. That's exactly and it's right. also no matter what challenge that that you face, instead of being scared, you just got to be ready. You just got to push through the hurdle and just smash it. Like yeah. it's not there. That's right. That's all you got to do. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, look, even even if you're at work, you know what I mean? Don't have this, don't have this negative, don't have this negative attitude because I promise you, it's not going to get you nowhere, mate. You, instead of being, ugh, what am I going to go with today? You got to be ready for it. Yeah. You got to be ready. I'm a morning person. I'm a very morning person. Like a very, have you ever met a very morning person? Our morning is morning. Yeah, I know, right? Like, like but yeah, yeah, I'm a very morning person. Like I, but so you, you know, do, you do all your stuff as soon as you get up, do what you have to do, then you're set for the right. day, and you know, you plan in advance what you're gonna do. You That's know, right. from the set, you know, from the get go. As long as, as long as you're alive, you don't wake up in prison, you don't wake up in a hospital sick or in a gutter. That's right. Thank you. There was another one. That was there was that <laughs> one more I needed. Um, you are you you are more blessed than you think. You are more blessed than you think. Right, so we don't we got we no we don't have time for negativity, and to be honest with you, neither should you. We, but in saying that, I mean, look, having human emotions of you have your negative doubts and stuff like that, but it's your job to push on through, smash it out, and it's all progress at the end of the day. You have to trust, you have to trust the progress. You have to trust yourself in order for you to progress. And another thing on top of that, never dwell on the past, I've learnt as well. Yeah. Never let the past hold you back from your future. That's right. That's one thing which, I've learned. So which, one, which some people fail to understand as mm. well. I mean, you got to... I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a hypocrite in saying, no, nah, I'm perfect in the past. No, there are things in, in my past that I can't get over, but yeah. I shouldn't dwell on it. You shouldn't dwell on it. You shouldn't let them hold you back. That's you, right. You can, you can look at it as a lesson. That's right. It's, it's, it's the biggest lesson. You that's know what, what I mean? That's what, so, that's what you look at. Yeah, I mean, as I said, like I, I go through that myself, and it's, you know, it's you just, you just, I, it's a, there has to be a reminder. You have to be there, there's a reminder that I have that you know, it's in the past, it's done. Let's focus. Let's let's move. Let's move on. Let's go forward. And let's look, you know at, what I mean? look at the future. Actually, perfect little insider as well. You know, you know, on the like the the Australian there's there's some emblem I forgot what it was but it's got an emu as well as a kangaroo yeah did you know with the kangaroo and an emu they can't go backwards they can only go forwards yeah did you know that I knew that one yeah. so that's a perfect example yeah. on you know moving forward you know what I mean and um see Australia's at the forefront of it in other words there you go see <laughs> doing that well that's right but yeah so follow follow your dreams don't don't ignore it don't don't give up on it because once you once you work at it you'll be you know what you'll be fine as long as you smash out and you smash it out and you know you will know what you want you'll be fine you have you just have to trust it have trust in your faith as well and just stay dedicated and committed to it that's right and you'll be you'll get there that's right. No matter how long it takes, you'll get there at the end of the day. And, and that's all you got to do. And when, and when, also when it comes to supporters as well, I mean, look, you, if you've got supporters, fantastic. That's awesome. But just make sure these supporters want you to succeed. Just succeed. Not, not, um... Not hold you back. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's uh, one of my favorite rappers, E-40. He, he said... What did he say? He goes, you want me to win, but hope I lose. It's that, it's that saying. Okay, that sounds right? interesting. That's, yeah, that's, that's one. That's, that's, a, that, that's, a, that's a really good saying. Um, you know, and I'd rather, but you know what, me personally, if, if you want to support me, go ahead. If you don't want to support me, that's fine. I'm still going to do what I want because this is what I want to do. This, I'm, I'm good at this. 
and and now because I'm good at it tried to build the connections sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't but then now I'm at the connection point where I'm on YouTube <laughs> you know what I'm saying so so yeah you just don't worry about everyone else worry about yourself and worry and just worry about where you're going and just focus on that. And I promise you, you guys will be fine. If you're worried about money, that comes and goes. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. Money's money at the end of the day. Don't let that, don't let that be a concern. You can get it from anywhere. We are in a very, we are in a very, very lucky country. So, all right. So, yeah, that's, all, that's, that's another little Labsy's advice. What, you got anything else, Charlie? No, I actually Just like to wrap that. it up. I actually like that, but I prefer, you said Labsy's voice, Labsy's lecture. Labsy's lecture, I like that. I like oh, that. Oh, well, I am, I am the Dr. Phil of the Western Suburbs, <laughs> if you will, so there you go. There you go. And so I you have the Western Suburbs as proof. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for viewing. Um, uh, we will be doing another episode soon. We'll be uploading the, um, the second episode due to delays. Charlie, um, and yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. We'll see you next time. We'll see you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Woo! That was it. Thank you.